Hello, Grace. Welcome to another daily devotional for our 40-day journey of preparing for Pentecost, praying for power. Today I want to talk about waiting, but not just biding our time, waiting with expectation. At the end of Luke's Gospel, in chapter 24, verse 49, Jesus, before he ascends into heaven, says to his disciples, And behold, I am sending the promise of my Father upon you, but stay in the city until you are clothed with power from on high. Jesus talks about the power of the Holy Spirit as their clothing, that they should be looked to be empowered with this promise of the Father before they go out to minister, just as they would be clothed before they head out the door. It's, it's that kind of expectation we should have as we wait for the promise of the Father. The disciples, watching Jesus ascend into heaven, didn't have any more to go on than that. They didn't know specifically what was coming on the day of Pentecost. Jesus told them to wait for the promise of the Father. And don't leave until you get your spiritual clothes on. So in our remaining days, until Pentecost 2020, let us wait and pray with that kind of expectation. Let me pray for us. Father, we just pray that you would grant us the ability to wait on you, to wait for your promise. Lord, we don't, we don't know what you're going to do in uh, Pentecost 2020. But Lord, we desire to see you move in power. We, we, we wait with expectation, Lord God, that you would do something marvelous in this, in this day. Lord, this is such an opportune time, Father God, and we know the Spirit of God is moving. We know that, that people are responding to the gospel in this time. And so, Father, we pray for a fresh outpouring of your Holy Spirit, Lord, and whatever that looks like, Father God, that you would help us to wait, to put our clothes on, Father God, to prepare to go out to minister, Father, to those who are hungry for what you have to say and what you want to do. Father, we honor you and bless you. We just wait with expectation, looking to you, Father, because without you we're nothing. Bless us today, Lord, we pray, as we wait on you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, church.